Let's take a quick look at the product rule. Now what the product rule is, if you had an original function, suppose it was y, and y was equal to the product of two things. You had an f of x times, and you had a second function, a g of x. Now mathematically what the product rule says is this, is that the derivative is equal to the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. But that's not the way I would remember it. The way most people remember it is this. I would, I would word it like this if I were you. Just in English, it would be this. I like to think of it as the first, the original first function times the derivative of the second function plus the original second function times the derivative of the first function. Now occasionally I'll shorten it down to just this. y prime would be equal to uh, the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. And this is the way I usually remember it. So first times the derivative of the second, second times the derivative of the first. Okay, let's take a look at a couple of examples. Okay, and what we've got here is this. This is the first function. This is the second function. So the rule says as follows. It's very easy to apply. What you've got is the the original first function, so just rewrite the first one, 3x squared plus 2x times the derivative of the second. Now take the derivative of this function right here. The derivative of 4x minus 4 would just be 4. So that's the first times the derivative of the second, and then plus the second, the original second, times the derivative of the first. Well, the derivative of this function would be 6x plus 2, and you are done. So that's the second times the derivative of the first. So uh, there's the derivative right there. So first times the derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Um, looks a little different, but we'll still apply the same rule. Um, this part right here is the first. This entire thing right here is the second. Now, before you can apply the product rule, first of all, you've got to rewrite the thing. So I'm going to rewrite it as follows. This is going to be 2x cubed, and then get the variable out of the denominator, so it'll become x to the negative 2 plus Four, and then the square root of x would be x to the one-half power. So as we've done before, first of all, uh, get rid of the radicals, get the variable out of the denominator. Now at this point, this is not the derivative. All I've done in this step right here is just rewrite it. Now what I'm going to do is take the derivative of this thing. Well, what I've got here, this is my first function, and this is my second function. So that's the first, that's the second. So now when I find the derivative, y prime, would be, and just kind of say it in English as you do it, the, I'll put it in parentheses, the first times the derivative of the second, which would be minus 2x to the negative 3, plus and this one, so I've got uh, 4 times 1 half x, and take away 2 halves, to the negative 1 half. So that's the first times the derivative of the second. I'm halfway through the problem. Then plus the original second, so 
x to the negative 2 plus 4x to the 1 half times the derivative of the first, so the derivative of this one, which would be 6x squared, and I'm done. That would be the second times the derivative of the first. Now, you might want to kind of come in and clean things up. This will 4 divided by 2 and so on. You can rewrite it. But that basically is the derivative right there. So first times the derivative of the second plus second times the derivative of the first. Uh, let's try another one. And this one will do a couple of things here. I want you to see students sometimes get confused about whether they need to use the product rule or uh, the power rule. Well, first of all, let's solve this thing using the power rule. So what the power rule says, uh, so the power rule. And all the power rule is, is bring the exponent down in front, reduce it by 1. So this would become 12x, and then 3 minus 1 would be 2, and you've got an answer. So this would be the answer using the power rule. Now, some students say this, well, why don't I have to use the product rule right here? Uh, why am I allowed to use the power rule? If you wanted to, you could use the, the uh, product rule. Let's try this. So this is going to be the same problem done using the product rule. So there's more than one way to solve these things. You should get the same answer. Now think of it this way. Here's a first function. Here's a second one. So what the product rule says is it's the original first times the derivative of the second plus the original second times the derivative of the first, but the derivative of a constant is zero. Now, because zero times anything is zero, this entire term goes to zero. And what that leaves you with is this. Four times three is 12x squared. So you wind up getting exactly the same answer. <clears throat> so the answer to the question, why don't you need to use the product rule in this case, if either one of the two functions is a constant, the derivative of a constant goes to zero. That second term always goes to zero, so why waste your time doing it? Just go ahead and use the uh, power rule, and you've got it. So the power rule and the product rule both give you the same thing. Okay, let's take a look at another example. And what I want to show here is a couple of ways of doing things. Uh, one way we've done it before is to, first of all, distribute this. So you can either solve this thing using the product rule, or you can distribute first and use the power rule. So on this one, let's go ahead and distribute first. This times this, and this times this. That'll give you y prime. Well, first of all, let's just redistribute. Uh, add the exponents here. This will give you 3x to the 6th plus 5x squared. Now I'll take the derivative of that using the power rule. So the derivative would be 18x to the fifth plus 10x. And there's the derivative. <laughs> now if these rules are working right, if I were to use the product rule on this one, <clears throat> I should get the same answer. What I've got, here's a first times a second. So let's try the product rule this time. So y prime. It's the original first times the derivative of the second, 12x cubed. Then uh, the original second, so I've got 3x to the fourth plus 5, times the derivative of the first, which would be 2x. <coughs> Now, at first, these look completely different, but if you simplify this, you'll see they actually turn out to be the same thing. So if I were to simplify this one, I would get the following. If I multiply these two together, add the exponents, I get 12x to the fifth. Then on this one, I'll distribute this exponent, this one times this, and this times this, which will get me uh, 6x to the fifth plus 10x. Now, I can combine like terms. Here's an x to the fifth, an x to the fifth. 12 plus 6 would be 18x to the fifth plus 10x. So you wind up getting exactly the same answer. So whether you go with the power rule 
for the product rule, uh, there's more than one way to solve each problem, and it's up to you which way you decide to go, whichever way you think is easier. And there's a couple of examples of the product rule. 